Hey guys, what's up? OCD Mikey Hi-Fi Guy here. And uh, I'm about ready to dig into another uh, another piece of meat, as it were. Um, and uh, I know this is why y'all come to me, um, because I'm not afraid to tear things apart and get under the hood and start to look at what, what does it all really mean. And let's, let's, let's listen to their story and let's, uh, let's poke a few holes in it if we can. Um, because again, I'm about weeding through the BS and getting to the straight dope. Um, if I talk about something that I like, it's because I like it. And if I see some BS, um, I will tell you. And uh, that's why you guys are here. So I'm going to start with um, Denifrip's piece um, because I got an email and uh, that came to me direct that was talking about why do you need a DDC? Okay. And so I'm, I'm going to dive into this now and dissect this whole thing so I can... You know, a lot of this stuff, I blow it off as bullshit because I know it is. And I've seen it so much. You guys, however, don't. So you must realize when a lot of the times I'm talking to you, I'm coming from the standpoint of an expert who's seasoned in this. And so I take a lot of things I, uh, for granted that I understand that you guys don't. So you might miss a lot of that um, because I don't go into hyper little detail like I will now. Um, but I'm, I'll, I'll show you like, okay, so I, I, you hear me say, you know, Chinese stuff is, is BS. Okay. Um, and, um, and, and then people think I'm racist, <laughs> which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, um, anyways, um, I'm, I'm going to show you a couple things of how the Chinese market to us because, um, it's, a, they, they, they've been paying attention. And they 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 are smart, but they're taking people as hi-fi idiot fools. And um, I'll show you how. Hold on. Okay, so first thing I want to point out here is we're going to look at the Denifrips Pontus II. This is a DAC that many people think is unbeatable and oh so good, and they they're 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 crazy over for eighteen hundred bucks. Okay, um, I, I'm going to take it out. For you guys, I, I I will make I, I will give you my word. I'll find something not made in Red China that will beat the shit out of this thing, and it will uh, be two thousand dollars. I'll say at the max because I'm sure people won't mind paying two hundred more dollars to have something that isn't made in China uh, that 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 beats this thing. Okay, now a couple things. First off, I want to uh, uh, point out that this piece nowhere on the back of it says made in China. Um, now that is, you, you may think that's, you know, you know, that is very intentional. Okay. They're very proud about being Chinese and making Chinese stuff. And normally it's plastered all over their stuff. Made in China, made in China. We come from China, whatever they put. Um, we come from China was something from Kinky Studios, which I thought was kind of cute. We come from China. Um, and, uh, so look, they're hiding it. Okay. They're not putting it on there on purpose. That means they know that products are worth less or that sell less or that bum people out if they put made in China on it, or they would put it on there. So they understand it's, 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 it's a detriment to put made in China on the, on their audio electronics. So they don't do it. They completely avoid it. Um, that should be the first sign that they understand how to market to, to, to Americans by hiding the fact and, and not making it evident that it's made in China. Okay, so that's the that's that's the first thing to pay attention to here. Now I'm going to go into something a little different. Hold on. Okay, so now we are inside the the um, Denifrips uh, DDC. I think what is it called? Is it called a DDC? I guess so. Denifrips DDC. Okay, so, um, and I want to show you something here. Okay, first of all, okay, um, I want to point out how uh, the marketing here is opening up the unit and showing you what's inside and trying to make a case that it's quality uh, uh, components, right? In other words, they know that you doubt the Chinese quality. And so they're trying to show you that it is high quality by opening it up and showing you the constituent parts of this circuit. Okay. So this to begin with is ridiculous. Okay. 
you guys are not electrical engineers. And besides, if you were electrical engineers, which some of you are, you'll understand that it's more than just the brand or the type of capacitor or, or, or clock or whatever. It's how it's implemented. So to try and bring the customer into this spectrum of information is absolutely ridiculous, moot, and confusing for you guys. Okay, because you can't tell, you can't say, oh, does it have, what, what happens is by them doing this and opening this can of worms, it gets you guys walking around going, well, does it have an OCXO inside? Is it a femto clock? Does it have uh, an Amanero input? Does it have, you know, and you're asking all these retarded questions. It's how we know that you don't know crap. When you come in and you start asking those questions, immediately we know this guy knows nothing and he's trying to act like he's educated and like he knows what the hell he's looking for, but you guys have no freaking idea. You're looking for femto clocks and you're looking for shit like that. You're not even paying attention to how it sounds. You're trying to shop for something that needs to be driven without driving it. You're basing something on what kind of, 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 of motor is in this Ferrari, you know? It doesn't matter, dude. It's a Ferrari. You know, it, it doesn't need to tell you what brand of turbo is on that, that engine because it doesn't matter. Go drive it, man. You know, I mean, that's all there is to it. So what they're doing here is they're trying to dissect the inside of the engine to show you all the parts in, a, in an attempt at winning you over. This is standard quality. Okay. And it may even lean to, to good quality. It's not shit. Let's put it that way. Okay. But it is. It is decent quality, but it's nothing different than any other, you know, halfway decent Marantz or whatever on the market, okay? It's nothing. This is the, these, these, they're, they're trying to market to us and they're using this whole spectrum of let's see what's inside to prove to you. Now, proprietary, let, I'm, I'm going to pick through this so you can see. We've got a clock sink, first of all, on here. Why does it need a clock sink, okay? This, it, it shouldn't need a clock sink. The only reason you need clock sync on anything is when you are producing music and you have a bunch of outboard gear and you need to synchronize it all together, okay? In other words, there's an issue when you split stuff up into too many pieces. You have a problem, and it's called the clocks are going to oscillate. They're, they're, there's not going to be uniformity between the clocks on each different piece. So the fix or the band-aid is to put a master clock generator to keep everything under one clocked, you know, uh, frequency, okay? So that's a problem. So the fact that it has clock sync means this is part of a system that needs clock sync, okay? So it, it, it is something, and, and it's an upsell. Well, of course it's an upsell. They're going to sell you a clock. They're going to sell you the, the DDD um, um, converter. They're going to sell you the DAC. They're going to sell you all sorts of crap that you have outboard power supply. Before you know it, man, you're going to have 15 boxes where if you would have just put all that money together and bought one high quality piece, you would have something worth a lot more money in resale, something with pride of ownership, something not made in red China where they exploit the people uh, as 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 cattle or worthless without human rights. Um, look, um, and, and I'm going to say this one time because I just, you know, segued into it. it. When you buy Chinese gear, you're supporting the exploitation of humans. OK, doesn't matter. No matter how hard you want to bury your head in the sand. OK, when you buy stuff made in China like this. OK, and I'm not going into, oh, is everything made in China? Look, your phone and da, da, da. Certain things. First of all, my phone's Korean. OK, um, any any clothes I buy, definitely not Chinese. My shoes, definitely not Chinese. My jeans, definitely not Chinese. Um, Vietnam, if anything. OK, um, so I take great care to not buy Chinese. So to if you're if your argument is everything's made in China, it's too big to do anything about, then shame on you. Because what you're doing is you're having cognitive dissonance. You're saying, I don't believe in, 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 in the slavery of humans. I don't believe in exploitation of human rights, but I'm still going to buy from a country that does it. Okay. So, you know, we'll ignore the fact that this comes from red China that exploits humans and their human rights. We'll, we'll completely ignore that, okay? Let's just pretend this is made in a wonderful place, okay? 
where they where they treat their people really well. Okay, so even so, here's them trying to market to us. Okay, they're telling us O core shielded uh, uh, AC transformer. Uh, okay, um, if they don't shield this thing, um, and it, 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 if they don't shield this thing, it's going to be noise. It's going to it's going to ruin the sound inside here. So the fact that this is shielded is default. You would never put a transformer that's not shielded in here. So this is ridiculous to say that it's shielded. Of course it's shielded because you got the thing right in the middle of all the delicate um, electronics. This shouldn't even be here. This thing should have a metal shield around it. It should be shoved in the corner, tucked away with a shield around it so that it can't spew all over EMF, all over everything else in, 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 the, in the chassis. But it's just it's trying to make it seem like it's a good thing because you guys don't know any better. Okay, the good stuff has these completely encapsulated. They're not just hanging out like that. Okay, AC filters, smart power management with built-in current. Mount. It's got, it's got, it's got a choke. It's got something. This is a typical AC input filter. This is rudimentary stuff that you put on any piece of gear. Okay, a USB receiver, proprietary USB, whatever, advanced AMR based MCU. Do you even know what the hell that is? And why would you give a shit? It doesn't matter. How does the DAC sound? You know, how does this piece sound? So they're, they're, they're trying to just give bullet points about stuff that is nothing worth bullet pointing. But they're trying to beef it up so that when you don't know anything about this, you're going to look at this. You're going to think this is important. You're going to think, oh, course shielded. Tree. Oh, wow. It's oh, course shielded. You're going to think because you don't know any better. But but they're all shielded, man. You're going to see metal chassis. What, what else is it going to be? Freaking plastic? Jesus, come on. Metal chassis? They're actually pointing out metal chassis. Of course it's freaking metal. Give me a break. This is stamped as sheet metal, okay? Is it is it machined billet aluminum chassis? No, it's not. That's where it's worth talking about. If it's machined chassis, if it's stamped metal, screwed together chassis, that's everything, that's the cheapest five dollars switch that you find at the at the at the at the, the computer store it has a metal chassis. Big freaking deal. Anodized aluminum front. Well, you better hope so. If you don't anodize aluminum, it totally gets crustified. You must anodize aluminum that's going to be used as a front face panel uh, uh, for anything, or it's going to get powdery and dusty and faded. And and you need to anodize it. So it's like. All these things are total defaults, and they're pointing it out to you in a diagram where they send you a, 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 uh, um, an email to try and show you how amazing this thing is, when all I'm seeing is a regular ass thing that's nothing special. Digital inputs, yeah, they're showing us what these are, digital outputs, whatever, high-speed isolation, um, what is this, silicon dioxide isolation barrier. Why the hell would you give a shit what material it's made out of? Silicon dioxide? Do you give a shit? You don't know why that's good. Why would they even tell it? So what I'm getting at is they're trying to dig into spec, into spec that is irrelevant spec, that doesn't matter to you as the end user. It may be relevant to the manufacturer, but it's not relevant to you, the end user. Okay, it doesn't even tell you why silicon dioxide is good. It just tells you silicon dioxide. Maybe that's what they're all made out of. We don't know. Isolation barrier with with isolated power supply, effective uh, isolate the ground. See, it's not even proper English and block the from noise from the end one end to the other. Okay, so uh, uh, you know what is. The isolation barrier. What we want to do is dig into that and see. They call it an isolation barrier. I'll bet you if we dig in this, this is just something super simple. It's like transformer, or, or it's like you know something that that. But they call they're, they're they're calling it silicon dioxide isolation barrier. Trust me when I tell you, silicon dioxide isolation barrier. There's another name for it. We don't know right now. But it's very simple and very rudimentary, and it's nothing special. But they're making, they're trying to make it sound special, okay? Isolated power supply to noise from one end to the other. It's called galvanic isolation, 
okay? And what they're trying to do is block the noise because they know noise comes in off wires. So they have to put this thing in to keep the noise that comes in off the wires and isolate it from the rest of the gear. They know that, okay? Femto OCX, so oven control crystal oscillators. Okay, so I, I was looking at this. I also looked at their thing here of optical isolation, their, their British auto, audiophile guy. That's what they attach to this to support their whole pitch here is, is, is this guy's review, some, some guy from, from Great Britain. Um, and, you know, he's talking about the isolation. He's talking about crystal clocks and crystal isolators and, and the different types of crystal isolators and which one are crystal clo- uh, uh, oscillators and which one you want. Well, you know what? Crystal is a piece of rock that's sliced, that's in there, okay? That whole thing, the fact that there's crystal and the word crystal is on there means old, okay? There's newer technology that's better and more accurate than crystal oscillators. This uses old-ass crystal rock that's in there, sliced rock that's put in there that vibrates at a certain frequency when you put it under electromagnetism, and that's how it keeps its timing, Okay, is from a, a, something that comes out of the earth, a piece of rock. Okay, the and 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 crystal oscillators are old school. Okay, they're not the latest technology. They're not the most accurate. There is better. The, and 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 for instance, Playback Designs does not use crystal. Okay, they have they have oscillators that are higher performance. Okay, so they're trying to tout that they have these old big ass metal cans. Okay, um, you guys might get impressed when you see the old big ass metal cans. Back in the day, these were impressive. Today, no, they're not. Okay, FPGA, FPGA-based DSP uh, adapter, FIFO buffer. Okay, so this is freaking necessary, man. You can't have this whole thing without an FPGA in there. It needs it. It's required. So what makes it special? Why don't you tell us about the math? Why don't you tell us about the algorithm? What makes your algorithm special? What are you guys doing that you think is so cool? The fact that it has an FPGA is retarded. Of course it has an FPGA. You know, it needs an FPGA. It can't operate without an FPGA. Okay? Multi-stages LPSU. High speed, low noise, LDO, linear power supply. Hello, one of those chips, when you go to buy it, and, and, and it whatever it is, Texas Instruments um, um, LDO uh, voltage regulator, it's going to say high speed, low noise, LDO. Okay, so that, that this little this little chip here is a high speed low noise LDO. Everybody uses high speed low noises LDOs. The only people that don't are if you really have fifty dollar Walmart shit. Okay, then you don't use stuff like this. This one cost you know fifty cents versus fifteen cents. You know maybe I don't even know the prices of them, but they're they're, they're there's a premium for the high high speed low noise LDO. All audio gear that's worth half a, a shit has a low noise LDO and they have a bunch of them okay usually they have them in every stage you'll see them before everything not only will they be right here on the main power supply but they'll be at each location right before each sector or or each part of the circuit that needs its own power there's going to be a secondary one of those but I don't even see any secondaries I just see primaries okay and yeah then they put in I'm surprised they didn't mention the capacitors they should have said something like Nishikon Japanese capacitors or whatever to get you guys even more confused about what the hell this is all about. Okay. Now, another thing too, which we look in here is the I squared S. Okay. I squared S outputs. What they're, what they're pitching here is a D, a digital to digital converter. Okay. What this is, is this is an outboard piece. Okay. That takes your USB in and, and, and spits out I squared S. That's the only reason you'd really want this thing. Okay, because it would change it to I squared S, but the DAC changes it to I squared S as well. So what you're doing is you're just taking the job of changing from USB to I squared S. You're taking it out of the DAC and you're putting it into an outboard piece. You're adding more wires. You're adding another upsell, and you're you're quote unquote you know reclocking with the dual femto OCXOs. Well, if the femto OCXOs are so good, why don't you put them in the DAC? Okay, why don't you put these over in the DAC? Maybe they are already. Okay, so now you're doubling up on them. Okay, which if you just put them in the DAC and you just do a good DAC, a good conversion on in the DAC end that doesn't make noise, then bam, you don't need this outboard extra piece to do it. Now, where this outboard extra piece would make sense, okay, 
is if you are changing from USB to an optical, okay? Because if you change from USB to I squared S, you're still running a wire to your DAC. Let's see if we, okay, here we go. So here's the streamer. Here's the, your, your computer. It's funny that they have these things too different. They should just really be one, or this could be your NAS drive or whatever. But you would have this usually on an Ethernet cable coming to here. But this doesn't, uh, well, there is an Ethernet input. I don't know how it functions with the Ethernet. I don't see them even running a line off the Ethernet. So I don't know how it works. Um, let's see if we can, and it doesn't, digital inputs, USB. See, they don't even, the Ethernet is right over here. They don't even mention it. So, and it doesn't, it's not even mentioned here. The DDC is feature packed. It doesn't even mention Ethernet. So you, I would presume that you can't come into this Ethernet, into this, uh, into this piece via Ethernet and have it do anything because there's no line. Okay. For instance, in the playback designs, you can go Ethernet straight into it and then have it convert from Ethernet to optical. But this one, you have to go to a first piece. So what it does is it makes you have to go through another piece, okay? So this is all designed, again, around upselling you pieces. And the way they work is they make their pieces 800, 1800, 2000. So it's no big number. You're not, you're not choking on 5000, 10000, 15000 dollars what you're 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 able to stomach 1800 or 2500 but then they just sell you five different pieces to put together so in the end the aggregate price is is similar or the same and and what i'm saying is if you build a better unit you don't need all these extraneous pieces this is to me marketing okay someone said well what do you mean it's brilliant marketing i say yeah but uh adenafrips is brilliant marketing they have designed, they, they have trained you to believe that you need to have a bunch of external pieces to make a complete system. And they've sold you this bill of goods, and now you have to buy a whole bunch of $2,000 pieces to put your, your rig together and to get, quote unquote, the good quality. When in fact, you could just buy a higher quality piece, made in USA, made somewhere else, that doesn't do this hustle. I see this as a hustle. It's very clever. They sat by and they watched. They have watched how we sell Hi-Fi and they have started to learn how to market to us and they're telling you what's inside when it really doesn't matter. Let's see if we can go, like, like for instance, here we go, right here. Okay, here's another example. Industrial grade Panasonic lithium ion. Okay, so this is where you go. I mean, anytime you're a company, a manufacturer, if you go to buy it, it's going to be industrial grade. You're not, as a manufacturer, you're not going to go to the supply house and say, you know, I want $10,000 or I want 10,000 pieces of, um, you know, energizers. You know, they, this is, 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 again, this is default. Any piece of gear is going to use an industrial grade. It, you can, that's the only way you can buy that type of volume and the way it's packaged is to buy industrial level. Now, Amonero, uh, USB I squared S module. Like, why the hell do we need to know it's Amonero? Why do we give a shit? Does it matter to us? Are you actually going to go along and, and are, are you going to ask people, well, does your streamer have an Amonero USB I squared S module? What they're trying to do is use these words that don't mean anything. Use these brands that you would never know about. You wouldn't know about that this is an Amonero. Why the hell do you need to know that? Why the hell does it make a difference? It really doesn't make a difference. What makes a difference, how the hell does this thing sound? Okay. So this is the Bluetooth to, to, to SPDIF converter. Qualcomm high-res Bluetooth receiver. Okay, so what? I mean, it's a high-res Bluetooth receiver. Why do I need to know who made it? What brand? What are they trying to... Is that an American company? Are they trying to use... Is this a... This is a Dutch company? Are they trying to use these names to make it look not Chinese-made? SPDIF I squared S output. Um... Wolfson digital converter coupled with high quality quality components. So there's a Wolfson DAC in there. Um, you know, again, this is like those people going, what kind of chip does it have? You know, you come in listening to that. I mean, if you're making your buying decisions based on what chip it has, you're totally misled, misinformed. You need to listen to the thing. How does it sound? How does it sound compared to the next thing at the same price? That's what you need to use to determine if these are good. Not looking at these stupid diagrams telling you it's a Wolfson DAC and it's an Amonero USB I squared S module. Do they even talk about the two clocks here? 
Do you see these two? Those are the two clocks. Do they tell you what the jitter spec is? No, that would be important for this if they're going to give you some spec. And look, what do we have here? An FPGA. Well, they don't mention the FPGA, do they? Well, wow, that's because it needs a freaking FPGA. Okay? So you can see this thing, this is a joke, man. They just point arbitrary crap out to try and make you think it's high quality because this diagram looks high, looks like, ooh, it's special. There's a diagram for it, you know? They made a whole diagram to tell me it's got a Qualcomm, it's got a Nominero. You don't know your head from an a- your ass in terms of these component parts. You shouldn't know your head from your ass with these component parts because, and, and even if you do, because you're an engineer and you put these things together, it doesn't matter because you don't know the algorithm. You don't know how it's being implemented, which is where the rubber hits the road. It doesn't matter what, what, what turbo is in the Ferrari engine. It's like, how is it implemented? Not what brand ball bearings are in the freaking turbo, you know? Um, so this is confusion. This is meant to stupefy you and, 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 and just get you to buy because it looks important. But it's not important when we pull it apart. Look at this. This is the output of the DDC reclocker, okay? They're showing us something that goes to four different DACs. Why in the hell would you need four different DACs coming out of this piece? You would not need four different DACs coming out of this piece. You would only have one DAC. So this is a ridiculous diagram, but it looks important because it's got four DAC. Oh, okay, DAC number A. Well, I could have DAC number B. Maybe they're trying to foreshadow that you need to buy four DACs from them, one for each input, you know, which is absolutely ridiculous. But some people may think that this is what they need to do. Well, I need to follow the diagram, so I need to buy DAC A, B, C, and D, and that's how I really have a good system. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Um, and, 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 and okay, they show here FIFO buffer. Everything has a FIFO buffer, you know, OCXO reclock. Okay. Uh, so they're trying to say it reclocks. It's got to reclock. The only thing that's unique about this whole bullshit here is that it's OCXO. Not everything has oven controlled, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 crystal oscillators. Okay. And, and all that means is they warm up to keep the crystal in its optimum little envelope um, and, it, and, it, and it's, it's a controlled heat inside here. They have, lower, they have lower jitter from that. Otherwise, what happens is your jitter and your, your, your specification of the clock will vary depending on the temperature. Your, the performance of the clock will change. So this helps to keep it at a steady temperature. So if you, if you um, on the other hand, if you keep your uh, DAC on all the time, like what I do, Okay, this is rendered moot because it doesn't need to warm up. Okay, it's always at an even temperature. You have a nice sealed box. You have it on all the time, so it stays at a steady temperature. So this is not so important. These are important if you need to, if you have them in environments where the outside environment changes temperature, and you are concerned that 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 this that, that inside here you need to keep it at a steady temperature. So yeah, it's it's a higher thing. But as I mentioned to you before. Crystal oscillators are old school technology, okay? So they're still using crystal oscillators. They probably have 10 million of the damn things that they made there, and they need to sell them, okay? Um, So we'll get back to what this thing does. It's supposed to take a USB input, a wired input, and and, and then convert it to to reclock and then spit it back out in a different wired input, I squared S. That, that's what this thing's for. So the people that want this thing is because they want to turn their USB into I squared S. Well, the DAC does that anyway. So, so this is going to, we're going to sell them an, an additional piece that turns the I squared S, uh, that, that turns the USB into I squared S. And then it's going to, now remember, I squared S was never supposed to be off the motherboard of this thing to, to begin with. I squared S is a protocol that's meant to be done between ICs on on a um, board and it, it's not meant to be like longer than five inches so we bastardized it by using a video protocol a balanced digital output which is hdmi using lvds and we go out of here i squared s over to the, the denifrips dac that has the usb or, or the uh, hdmi i squared s input okay 
you still have to use transformers on both ends to isolate the noise because you've still got a wired connection, okay? If you really wanted to be the cat's meow, the big daddy, you would have digital output via fiber optic out of this thing, okay? And they do have it, but they have Toslink, okay? So their Toslink is a TV protocol. It's cheap consumer level connection. It's wobbly. It uses, most of them are plastic shitty cables, and you, it limits your bandwidth. So you come out of here, if you come out of here optical to your DAC, you're limiting your bad bandwidth to 24192. You can't do anything more than DSD times 64, like, like two times DSD, or, or what is it, one times DSD. You can't go any higher than that. So you'll be coming into it via USB, which is high bandwidth, and you'll be restricting the bandwidth if you go optical out. So it kills the whole argument about optical out on this piece. So there's the, the, the coolest thing, like the only reason I would buy a box like this would be to turn wire into glass fiber because glass fiber can't carry noise and can't have noise induced on it the way, and it's pure, true isolation, okay? Even though uh, um, there's galvanically isolated using transformers on the input and the output, it's still, uh, the noise still gets there. You have to remove it off, but when you use optical, the noise doesn't even get there. It's the only true isolation. The ground is still very much connected when you use an I squared S to I squared S. It's not truly electrically isolated. It, it, it has a transformer on the other side, but you're still grounding the two chassis together. Well, when you run optical off this thing, there is no grounding between the chassis. There is no chance for ground loops. Okay. So, but, but on this piece, because it's um, what I call a marketed piece, and it doesn't have full integrity, it, it only, it, it's going to restrict your bandwidth now to 24192. Why? Because they're not really serious. They don't really know what they're doing. They're just trying to market to U.S. audiophiles and sell them a bunch of crap, okay? This company was never around freaking uh, more than five years ago, maybe six years, something like that. But this company was not around 10 years. It's not a long-standing company. This is something that was invented to swindle U.S., to, to, to pull money out of the U.S. audiophile market. And they've done a very, very good job. You must understand, not one U.S. person makes any money off this when this thing comes into the U.S. The China is taking the full boat. They're taking all the money, bypassing all the middlemen, and selling direct to U.S. buyers at U.S. retail price. Okay? So you're not paying any less. You're, 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 you're paying full retail price. Um, and, and no U.S. people are, are, are making money off it. So this is, in my opinion, the perfect red China type plan. Let's pull money out of USA where no U.S. people make anything. And we will figure out how to copy and how to put the right brand names and how to appease and market to audiophiles so that they will buy our stuff, fall under the ether that they're getting a great deal. When really, if you bought this in China, it would be 300 bucks, 200 bucks, 150 bucks. You know, I used to buy direct from China and I know what these things cost. I owned an amplifier manufacturer. I had PC boards made. I ordered this crap. I know how much it costs. I know how little it costs. Okay. And this is a complete just hoodwink on the American audiophiles. Um, and you guys are happy with what you're getting but you don't understand, you're not thinking it through to what you're supporting. It's like eating a McDonald's hamburger. Sure, it's cheap shit. Does it taste good? Yeah, it tastes great. The fries taste really great, okay? But do you even think about what it does to the planet to have McDonald's, to support McDonald's? Do you think about that? Do you think about the feedlots and the misery that the animals go through before they're slaughtered by a mechanical separator that yanks them apart and bolts them in the head? I mean, it is totally archaic and, and, and horrible. But y'all bury your heads in the sand and say, well, it's only two bucks and you go eat your ass at McDonald's. This is a similar kind of a thing. Okay, you're buying from Red China and you're, you're sending the money over there. You're not helping the U.S. economy whatsoever. You're not helping the U.S. audio industry. You're killing it, in fact. If, you, if everybody bought this, this brand, everybody, the U.S. Um, um, audio industry would be toast, gone. Okay, 
But luckily, there's people that have higher standards, that understand, and that look for heirloom-type products, and they buy U.S.-made or they buy European-made, um, where it comes through a distribution network where there are Americans that are supported by this. This supports no Americans, okay? Um, so I'm just trying to point this out to you. Um, and it seems pretty clear that this is a marketing hoax. Um, it's meant to design to get you to buy a whole bunch of $2,000 things. Um, there is really no integrity when we start to pick apart these designs. There is no integrity about this. If I compare this DDC to like the playback designs, for instance, the playback designs will take Ethernet in. It will actually act as a streamer for you. And then it will spit out ST glass digital fiber, which is full bandwidth. That means DSD times four, DSD times, it, 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 it carries full bandwidth audio, the highest resolutions that we currently use. Okay, this thing doesn't. This thing, if, 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 so we're punching holes. We're finding out that this thing isn't really that cool because what makes these things cool is converting to optical. But when you convert to optical with this thing, you get shafted on your, your bandwidth. You're, you're relegated to 24, 192, and DSD 64. Okay, so this is not an audiophile piece, not whatsoever. They're almost there. They're, they're really doing a good job at cloaking what they're, what they're putting together, and they're getting better at it. I see these things. They start to look better. They start to look more like um, European stuff. They got big red displays now, and, and they're copying like the certain uh, other brands, and they're great at copying stuff. Man, so you guys got to get this through to your head. Now, I'll, say, I'll mention one thing about this guy here who is, is Alvin Chi. Okay? Alvin is a great guy. Okay? Um, I like him. He's an honest man. He's a good guy. He is stuck in the middle of whatever this bullshit is. He is beheld to <laughs> the 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 um the red star. Let's just put it that way. Okay. This is a good man. Okay. Alvin's great. I love Alvin. Okay. We trust him totally. He's just a man trying to make money, and he's just doing his thing. He's doing a great job at it. Okay. So God bless Alvin Chi. He lives in Singapore. He doesn't have to live in Red China. You know, I mean, it may be a little bit better there. I've been to Singapore. I really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful place. Um, and to get back to this thing, man, this is not a swipe on Chinese people. And, and the, the, the uh, um, people that understand, that are a little deeper, understand that, okay? Um, my top, let, let me put it this way. My most, the, the, the person that ordered the most expensive piece one single $80,000 DAC, or I mean um, um, amplifier, is Chinese, okay? So um, my clients are Chinese, okay? And, and they're not from China. They're, 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 China they're, they're the clients that are Chinese that have moved to America and that are absolutely terrified at, at what China is doing um, with Taiwan. Um, some of them are Taiwanese, uh, which is really actual more Chinese than the actual China uh, uh, communist type. Um, and, and anybody from Taiwan will understand when I say you're more Chinese than, the, than China, um, because it's true, man, that's the real honorable Chinese. Okay. Um, um, and, and the people of China are very honorable too. the poor people are stuck in the middle of a military crazy control thing that is absolutely obnoxious and needs to be abolished in my opinion. Um, so if, if people think um, I'm, I'm, I'm against other humans, um, you're absolutely, you're ridiculous, okay? Um, I stand for the Chinese people. That's why I stand against Chinese products, okay? And all you have to do is let that soak in. But if you want to continue on to ignore the reality of what's going on in the world, and you want to continue to stuff your face with McDonald hamburgers and, and forget about the planet and how all the forest, the deforestation that's going on to grow the cows that they're going to slaughter in inhumane ways so that you can eat your freaking $2 cheeseburger and get fat and die of cancer. Like, come on, man, wake up. Okay. So, um, for whatever it's worth, man, you guys called it out now. You know, that last little video with people starting to, to get a little flippant where I will now dissect Denifrips. Bit by bit, piece by piece, I will hammer it with something, a product that is as good or better um, for less or the same price or maybe a little bit more. 
Um, but I'm going to show you because you guys think I just sit here and blabber my mouth. No, the way that Mikey walks and moves, Mikey proves and proves and proves. OK, so I'm going to prove for you guys um, my whole point here because it seems you guys need proof. So um, and this is all I know people are like, oh, why are you so negative? And blah, blah, blah. I'm a realist, man. That's all there is to it. You know, let me flip. You know, I'm not I'm not about fakey fake bullshit. OK, I'm a realist. Let's talk about the real McCoy. Let's talk about the real stuff. Let's talk about what we're really feeling and 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 talk about it, you know. And so that's what's going on here. So I have no it's not negative. It's not anything. My whole uh, um, purpose here is to is for you guys. I stand for the buyers. If it's not clear that I stand then I stand out against the industry and the typical bullshit. Um, you're not paying attention. So I am an outlier, okay, in order to serve you guys. I say things that put me out with all the good old boy network, okay, that likes to hustle you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm out of that network um, on purpose because I stand for something better in hi-fi for you guys. And this Chinese stuff is not where it's at. Look. If you want to buy stuff that's at a great price, that buy Korean, buy Vietnamese, buy something from another country. Don't buy from Red China. 